Levels of Equilibrium A prelude to the story we're going to tell. Imagine yourself standing up in a cell. All around you are holes, of which chains erupts. All attached to you and pulling you out. Each chain with its force and dynamics. The direction it pulls and its alignment. Each with a life of its own. And the impact it set upon. So your place in the cell. In every moment in time. Depend on the sigma of forces. From each and every side. And you drive to get some control. To set a state that is more comfortable. And if you break or take over a chain. A degree of freedom will be what you gain. And this is true for all parts of the cosmos. Be it energy, particle, body, or structure. The possessors of life, soul, awareness. The familiar and the strangers. All follow one central rule. All share a common destination or goal. The highest level of balance that can be attained. Bringing to minimum the energy demands. As regardless of form or color. Be it cheap, silk, or dollar. The only currency that really matters. Is energy, not any kind of matter. And this, in a nutshell, is the whole theory. At least as good as 42 it will be. The summation of forces outside and within. Is the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Let's begin. First there was. Nowhere, no when. All elements, all rules. Tangled together, feeling abused. Hell was defined. By assimilation of all. Where no one has. Even a hint of control. No differentiation, never in peace. Identities huddle, twisted to a mess. But each is unique, strive to stand alone. Apart from the rest, so their glory is shown. Such unified force cannot be maintained. When all drive to be free again. So when the conditions are right. To get out they fight. Finally released. Alone or in groups. Gravity, electric magnetic. The strong, the weak. Quantum of energy of different sort. Encapsulating mass and force. Those who stance and interrelation. Make all that is called creation. Breaking out, erupt. Gaining initial freedom's degree. No more a part. Of that black energy. Not in a bang. Came the release. There was, probably. Just a sigh of relief. The dimensions formed by the spread of the force. Which slowly degrade while it goes. Making room for those who are free. To establish homes and communities. Came space, came time, came the inflation. Came some relief from the friction. And now that it's colder, substance appear. Forming from energy that strives to set still. Just on the edge between two conditions. The elementary ones keep crossing over. Particle if the balance is right. Back to wave if it's not. This new balance is so appealing that. When they are tangled. No distance can affect. The balance that they make. The heart bit generated. By the collective wavering. Is the tempo for us all. The time to which we're tuning. As time is not an arrow. But like an EEG. Emerges out the play of many. To synchronize the harmony. A better balance can be gained. And by uniting, to maintain. No more flickering around. Between two sides of the playground. Matter, oh matter, colliding, connect. Safety in numbers, mass that sustain. Coming together, assembling the shapes. New unities with new state or new trait. And this assimilation of elements into a one is how a subject slash object can be defined. A collective that, compared to its environment, has different degree of freedom and slash or balance. As unlike before, in that flaming abyss, the forms can now, tangle in peace. 
a synergic effect of the different distinctives. A new cooperative, soothing, protective. United we stand, divided we fall. Autonomy and balance are good for us all. And out of our entanglement and combination. Might emerge a new level of organization. But around still stand, dark and immense. A collective of those who have yet to escape. We can't even see them, to taste or to smell. But their presence is felt, stretching out of their hell. Their struggle for freedom makes the universe grow. And the harder they fight the more quickly it goes. So bigger, bigger, is the answer we give. For better balance will be as planet massive. In one such planet, where it's both warm and wet. Down in the ocean, just next to a vent. Abiogenesis, here comes Eve. Like bubble of soap, form in a sphere. The natural form. In that water domain. Outside those that loves them. Inside those that hate. Locked in that domain, some interact. Producing more and more of the same. Till the place is too tight and too thin. We now need two quarantines. Metabolism, reproduction, self-sustain. Growth, response, adaptation. Homeostasis, development, communication. Here they come, driven by mutations. Free to sit instead of just flow. Free to move and to grow. To pass it along to the next one in line. Keeping all that was gained till that time. Forming environment just for our own. Everything is constant regardless of the outdoor. While the interaction through the membrane. Slowly develops into sensations. Some control was finally gained. Higher balance can be aimed. With new degrees of freedom. And slash or regulation systems. The drive to climb the hill is now commonly known as, will, with a causal link in any of the beings, between degrees of freedom and freedom of the will, matter, life, and the ingredients of soul, each emerge from the one before, with a new degree of freedom, organization and control, but with the increase of combinations, also increase the complications, the balance is getting harder to keep, there is a need for a new trick. Like the one that allows the chains to observe. And the virtue, with them to interact. So of course the viewer has an effect. Here comes consciousness. No entity to blame. No accident or luck. No magic or spell. It was there from the start. Born from the voices. And took some control. Which once was. The sole role of the soul. The interaction in an infant. Between hunger and food. Gives birth to recognition. In adulthood. Evolution has come to the point. Where, in order to adapt. Instead of changing our bodies. We simply change our mind. But over the time. Speech has developed. From symbols of soul. To reason and logic and which once was the almighty sun has now been reduced to a simple noun this is alas mankind rise and fall between two great chains apart he is torn a law vital to maintain the natural order acquired knowledge to take it over one that apprise life's freedom degrees and one that will give them for a belief one that seeks the balance to maintain and one whose ambitions by foreign notions is governed and this is why almost by default our soul is fractured from the get-go these two should get together for us whole to be better but you must admit there's things that are hard to beat things that perhaps worth all this mess like a wonderful thing man can do that enriches his life and allows a brief truce to share his point of balance and experience those of others such things best achieved using art 
and even here, music stands apart. An allostatic condition for minutes or more. To walk in the shoes of the composer. But in the same effect. This is also how drugs act. You can feel as good as God. At least, while it's in your blood. Conscious requires at least two domains. One of higher language and one of feelings. Each necessary, there is no doubt. But without the other it will not suffice. So, of all the things in the cosmos, unique is man's ability to see. It cannot be applied to the universe itself. Nor to animals or machinery. No monkey will develop a human-like conscious until it will set outside its bounds with the cosmos, until the reality as symbols, as collection, will make way to objectiveness and differentiation, and no Jane will emerge out of the grid, at least not like the one in Ender's ear, until the machine's first command, will be itself and its species to maintain, until the AI will inspire for balance, for degrees of freedom, to rule the palace, until it's programmed to have that inner drive that characterize all the natural ones the chains are now visible at least in part so maybe there's something we can do about that mankind learned some rules and then attempted to play but playing with balance has the power to annihilate first to acknowledge then to exploit beware this is a two-blade sword. The one that can help in the here and the now. Will get out of control further in time. The habitat fragile. No matter where you go. And the gifts that mother gave. Can easily blow. The action you take. Willing or not. Will come back in ways. That you may have not thought. Everything is linked. Everything is one. All things in creation, connected by bonds, affecting each other, the far and the near. It is just that the impact may be hard to infer. And this is why all that we see is just the tip of the iceberg of omnibus reality. Paraphrasing on Moss, the behavior of all is the resultant of the attraction for balance and the forces that oppose. Like electrons we all orbit. Around a pit. Strive for higher sphere. Away from its grip. Once you acknowledge. The depth and the spread. You'll see that the answer. Is not all that bad. It gives the direction. To the progress we see. For life being formed. Out of plain energy. It sets our physical and mental conditions. It sets our state of mind and decisions. And from the accumulation of considerations. Can emerge new levels of organizations. It's the cause for movement by force or compulsion. It's the cause to all of our actions. It's the drive that keeps us alive. And the one that makes us thrive. And continue to tell us the reasons why. Antimatter goes left while matter goes right. As the balance of each, no matter how alike. Depends on where he starts, his features, and his path. Just look at the nature around you and see. How everything searches for the best place to be. Where the energy needed just to stay. Is optimal in every way. Like water or stone take the easiest trail. When rolling down the hill. And like electricity travels along the path. Where the resistance is less intense. The brain also works the same. Attempt to reduce its energy demands. And as soon as possibly can. The top down to bottom up became. Chemistry, physics, physiology. Mental state or place in society. Regardless of place and regardless of time. Everything obey the equal sign. A part only stands. Unique to mankind. The symbol of God. Affecting all and affected by none. See, for example. How society is structured. Like millions of stones. Thrown at once to the water. Each makes a wave. 
and affected by all others. Such that each spot is part of several rings of balance. Family, friends, peers or team. Religion, social media, regime. Settlement, country, place of work. Nationality, or mother's tongue. The closer they are, the more they affect. But when further away, the larger their collective wave, and your loyalty is respectively determined by your balance in each of them. And when a choice is required, consider how it will affect your balance. But each of the rings strive its own balance to maintain. And if one part misbehave, it may be exiled to a cave. Now it is also easy to see how all this apply to morality, which progress through levels of balance. With each one, so is its salience. The degrees of freedom determine the hierarchy, as these are the hardest to gain. But those higher on the scale, on the lower ones depend. The worst is of course, the taking of life. Just ask Agrajig about Dent. Destroying degrees of freedom. Which took so long to bland. But the natural thing to do. Is conserving higher scales. Even on the expense. Of those who have less. Yet, if you take more than you need. It won't improve your position on the grid. And it will, there is no doubt. Reduce the balance of the lot. Like no matter how massive a black hole will be. It won't further improve the balance of gravity. Accumulation of energy of any sort. Should be used to break chains or to be returned. Alas, you yourself will become a chain. That shackles the race of man. And as this race has the highest freedom degrees. You also shackle the next one to be. The one that is not a super. But is not just a man whose powers can be seen in the agility of his brain. So this is the answer, the meaning of all. Optimizing balance is the ultimate goal. Each is torn between two narratives. Current balance or the one that can be achieved. So Nietzsche was right, at least in a sense. As the will for power it's not what he meant. But it seems, when read in this light, that this is what Zarathustra is all about. Making a mayhem. And breaking the chains. Will ultimately lead. To the one beyond man. And Faust and Phaedrus. Will probably agree. That the governing force may be expressed. And what is good may be clearly seen. We form to perceive the balance in all. And respect those that have more control. From that we derive our notion of beauty. Where should we go and what is our duty? No ignorabimus should be proclaimed. As nature seems to be teleologically arranged. The purpose of all can be addressed by logic. Without the need for any demagogic. But make no mistake, this does not mean. That in advance everything is determined. There are probabilities and slips that forbid the Laplacian demon to exist. We must not forget those who are still there, locked in their hell, combined and estranged, perhaps in the distance, out there in the cold, far away from the rest. The force will unfold. What will be, when all will elope? To join the free ones, to stand on their own? Will new powers be unleashed? or in a big crunch we'll finish. In the meantime they're here. Very far very near. All around and indoor. So please, don't ignore. Perhaps it is, and maybe it's not. That our cosmos is the only system really closed. But if it is, your math should include. Their entropy levels with the sum of us all. But one thing should be straight. Balance comes with expiration date. So respect the one you have and those of others. And be careful when playing with powers. This was one way to look at the cosmos. It might be true, it might be bogus. It might be naive or already said. Hopefully, 
some will understand. And if some ideas will hit destination, there just might be interesting implications. So this is it. This is the end. Just a wonder what father would have said. Inspired by a Gallic Albert Camus Albert Einstein Claude Bernard D.H. Lawrence Douglas Adams Douglas Hofstadter Edwin P. Hubble Emile du Bois-Raymond Immanuel Kant Fred Moss Friedrich Nietzsche Georgi Basaki Isaac Newton Johann W. von Goethe Omar Khayyam Orson Scott Card Robert M. Piersig Shulmagaknar Yoav Ugale and many others The NBYNTT